Hey guys, welcome back, or you know what? No one's coming back. Hello, my name is Trin. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a movie. You probably already heard of it, you've probably already seen it. It's called Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> Now you know I couldn't let this film come out and not do a video on it because that's just what I do. I love just making videos on topics that I love to talk about. Also, my voice is like this because I have strep. So it's very annoying, it's very off-putting. I'm sorry that I don't have a perfect voice right now. You know what? It's just how life works. Before we get started on talking about this movie, I didn't want you guys to think that this was a review or this was some sort of like planned out critique of the movie because I am not that and I don't want anyone to watch this and take anything I say like super serious or like I'm some like hoity-toity high horse talking about movies like I know everything because I don't. I don't know everything. I just want to express how I feel about this film. I think after watching the movie and sitting on it for like about a week and kind of letting my thoughts like marinate about it and see Seeing the response it's gotten for the first opening weekend, seeing uh, what the director has said and little things he's uh, talked about through interviews after the release of the film. It just makes the film even greater to see sort of the behind the scenes process of it because John M. Chu put so much thought into every little detail and the meaning behind it and really fought to make this film what it is and put so much passion into it. As did everyone in the cast but John, John M. Chu really did fight for a lot of things in the movie and really did uh, put his all behind every little detail to it and I think that's just one of the things that after seeing the movie just made it like 10 times better for me. Also I'm so freaking amazed and happy and excited and overall just proud of the Asian American community and anyone that went to go see it because it was at like 25 million through the weekend and then I think for the first opening week for the first five days it got like 35 million which is amazing. It was number one in the box office uh, for its first opening weekend. It was above a Mark Wahlberg film by a long shot and I was just like this is so incredible and it's just kind of a big F you to Hollywood because it's kind of like hey this is the marginalized audience that you didn't think would bring in money then you just decided to ignore and dismiss their representation or their stories that want to be told. You ignored them, you pushed them to the side, and then when finally someone picked up a story of us, well, and like it wasn't anyone white that picked up this movie. It was by Warner Brothers Studio and the like CEO or like president or someone of Warner Brothers Studio is an Asian man. So it's like, it was just this very like time where the community came together, everyone was in the right place at the right time, it came together and it made something incredible. I think one of the sad things is, which is, is sad but it's also great because of how well the film did, but it's sad because they said that there was like six films starring Asian Americans or about Asian American stories that weren't greenlit yet because they were all waiting to see how Crazy Rich Asians did. So basically everyone was just anticipating this, seeing if it would do well, t seeing if, you know, the crowd would show up, and we did. And that's really, it's really great because it just shows that everyone doubted us. Everyone thought that maybe Crazy Rich Asians would only do maybe like 20 to 25 million and they went to 35 million. And I was just like, it was really like an underdog moment, <laughs> I feel like, because it's like everyone doubted how this movie would do, everyone didn't really think that it would go to this extent and the fact that like everyone like came together and supported it is just so incredible and it shows how important this film is to people because you know even people that don't even like rom-com saw it you know from the trailer it just looked like a rom-com but in the actual film it's so much more than a rom-com it tells an asian story that we've never seen before it showed the asian story from a rich perspective and i know everyone's like oh i can't relate to that i'm not rich well it's like that's the point like no one's going to fucking lord of the rings and saying oh my god that wasn't a good movie because i didn't relate to the fucking hobbits like I don't see why that, like, some people are saying that because it's like, yes, 
it's not going to represent everyone. It's not supposed to. It's telling one story and hopefully going to open the gates for all stories to be told, for more and more stories to be told. So when people say, oh, this isn't the Asian I wanted to see, it's kind of like, well, then you should go and make your story about the Asian you want to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one film from one perspective. It's not going to showcase and represent every single Asian person in America. That's not the point of the film. Personally, I loved the movie. I thought it was really good. Although it is long, which some people might have an issue with, I don't have any issue with long films. I don't really care unless it's a boring film, you know? Like, unless it's a bad or like really boring film, like I don't really mind if it's long. Like it doesn't really bother me as long as it's entertaining and throughout this film it was very entertaining and it wasn't long for like unnecessary reasons. Like everything that was included like made sense to the story and you know nothing seemed very like drawn out. I thought the whole film was stunning. I thought it was absolutely beautiful to watch, especially the wedding scene. Oh my god, it was so like it was absolutely stunning. Like and it brought me to tears. Like it was so beautiful and so like mesmerizing. It like brought me to tears. Like that whole wedding scene was just like top notch. Like when the music stopped, I like lost it. Cause it was just so fascinating and beautiful to look at. And then the song comes in it. It was just it was a moment and I was really just like stunned by how freaking gorgeous it was. But not only that scene, like the whole film was really, really, really gorgeous. It was just so visually pleasing watching this film. Like, uh, it was just, it was so good. I, I loved it. And a lot of people thought when going into the movie that it was just gonna be a rom-com. They saw the trailer and thought it was only gonna be like a, you know, typical rom-com, but it had a lot more to it than just a rom-com. It had a lot to do with family and cultural differences. A look into an Asian life that a lot of us haven't seen, which was very interesting. One of my favorite scenes in Crazy Rich Asians was the very first scene of the movie where they go to the hotel and you know, they're rained on, they're like, I just wanna get to my suite or whatever. And then they get turned away because they're Asian. And then she makes a couple calls. And then he comes down and then he's like, oh, oh, she's the one buying the hotel. Like she owns this building now. I was like, that is such a badass move. Like that is incredible. Like that was, it was just everything. I was like, yes, like of course she owns the building. Like what the fuck? Like they were so mean to her because she was Asian. And then she was like, oh, like bow down bitches. Like I'm your boss now, you're fired. I heard in the book she actually did fire them though. The rat gets what he deserves. I think Constance and Henry had really good chemistry. I liked their dynamic throughout the film. Henry, this was one of his first big roles as end a lead role. So I think he handled it really well. I think he had the charm and the charisma and all of this stuff to be a you know lead man. And I was just, I was about it. Go Henry, you go. And Constance is always amazing. I've seen a lot of her stuff, so I wasn't really surprised by anything because that's just like, she's always like killing it, you know? Ken Jong, Aquafina, so funny. Loved their scenes. I wasn't expecting Aquafina to be that funny. From the trailer, I was kind of like, Okay. And then when I actually saw the film, like I thought she was really funny. Even though Ken Jong was in it for only like a little bit, I still thought his scenes were hilarious and I'm so glad that they included him in the cast because it was like, this is a pretty iconic film. Like you can't just not include Ken Jong, you know what I'm saying? The wardrobe of this film was mwah. It was just breathtaking. Like it was breathtaking. They looked so bomb. All of them looked so, clean i was like ah, screaming literally and can we talk about mr harry shum jr we all know i'm like 
the biggest Harry stan out here. So think of me, you know, I've been following Harry like as most people since like Glee. So I'm sitting there in the theater and I'm like, okay, like here, looking at all, there's the, you know, the main cast, everyone's here, everyone's here. I'm like waving throughout this film, like Harry was in, like he was like listed number five in the cast, like where is he? Like it's going pretty long into this and I still haven't seen him. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You go the whole film without even seeing him and then all of a sudden the film ends and I'm like he was on the main cast list like this is not like I'm not imagining things like he's listed like fifth on the cast list like where like where is he so the credits start playing and then there's a mid credit scene and that's all he's in he doesn't even say one word but he was like fifth on the cast list and that's all he was in i was like lord like who who's your manager how did you get so high on this casting list get paid like top like the fifth top paid in the movie and have like a 15 second scene where you didn't even talk that was like the biggest conspiracy of the night like it was so crazy like I was literally like in the theater and I was like first of all I was gasping that I was finally seeing Harry in this film and then I was like Hold up. This man got paid that much for that scene? <laughs> now I know he filmed more than that. I know he filmed more than that. I've seen the pictures on set. I've seen the behind the scenes pictures. And there's all these, you know, pictures of him. There was a scene in the trailer of him, you know, doing a little dip down with freaking uh, Gemma. So I like, you can't be including scenes in the trailer if they're not in the freaking movie. That's very disrespectful. I really don't enjoy that because I was expecting to see my man Harry. And like, although like, you know, the film was great. I loved it. But I was just like, you can't, you can't list him like that if you're gonna just do that to me. Now you have to make a sequel. Now you have to make a sequel to make up for this because I was so freaking rude. The movie is two hours. It's long, like I said. And it could have easily gone bad being that long because, you know, like I said, you know, long films, like it can, it can get boring sometimes. But this one, it was very interesting throughout the entire thing. It had little twists and turns that like, you know, kept like, you know, sneaking up on you like, hey. It was funny, it made me cry. I, I a little tear, my eyes got a little bit wet from that, so yeah. But it made you laugh, it made you cry, it made you smile, it made you get butterflies. It was everything and anything. And I'm just so excited for what more there is to come in the future because this film, like it, I don't want it to just stop here. I don't want it to be another 25 years before we get another film like this where, you know, Asian Americans can feel like they do matter, um, that they deserve to be represented. Why do I keep saying they? We. I'm Asian American. <laughs> I keep talking like I am not. We do deserve to have our stories told. We do deserve to have a voice. And this is only the beginning. I think one of the biggest things that annoys me from some of the reactions that I've seen is people saying like, not all Asians are rich. I'm afraid non-Asians will go see this film and think that's all Asians are. All Asians are crazy rich. And I'm thinking like, why do you give a shit about what non-Asians think about this Asian film so badly. Why don't you rather care about how the Asian community feels about it? Because it's a film for us. It's not for non-Asians, it's for us. I think it's really frustrating when people say that because it's like, how stupid do you think non-Asians are that if they see one movie, that's all they're gonna see? us as because it's think it's like do, did you go did you go to titanic and think all freaking white people were rich maybe maybe you did maybe you were that dumb i don't know it's one film it's not supposed to be this 
all-encompassing film for every single Asian American. It's that's not what it's for. It's 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 just a movie. Like I don't know what more do people want from it because it's like there's only so much you can do in one film. There's only so many stories you can tell in one film. If you don't like it so much, go make your own film. If you don't want people to see us as crazy rich Asians, go go make a film about crazy broke Asians. I just get really annoyed when people when people look at this and they're like, oh, all non-Asians are gonna think that you know Asians are just crazy and rich, and it's like. Okay, I don't think they're that dumb, but I don't even care if they do because I love this film and I see it for so much more than the title. It's like someone just read the title and was like, oh, fuck this film. Like, honestly, like, fuck it. Like, misrepresenting Asians were not all crazy and rich. Like, what the fuck? I can't believe they would say that. It's like, get over yourself. There's a lot to this film that I didn't really touch upon. I kind of went into a different side of talking about this film and not just in classic, like, review style of going over each part of the film. I filmed one like that. I filmed one the day I saw Crazy Rich Asians of me going in sort of like how I've usually done in the past where I talk about all the scenes I liked and all the characters I liked and you know delve deeper into the more storyline about it and this time I kind of talked about this film as a whole and kind of more the representation side or the I don't know how to say it but like not so much just the storyline sort of just this film in general this film happening because it's something that I've kind of wanted to elaborate on a little bit more instead of just like the few tweets I have. I wanted to kind of elaborate on this whole topic because I had a lot to say about it. Um, if you disagree, that's okay. Don't flame me in the comments. I'm, I'm nobody, my opinion doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about it. Like, um, don't pop any blood vessels over me. Like. I'm not that important. Let me know your thoughts on the film in the comment section down below. I want to see what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like. What are your reactions to, you know, the first opening weekend of the film? You know, I want to hear your thoughts. You know, I'm very interested in all that, so let me know. And I will see you crazy broke Asians or any other race next time. Bye. Here's my outro. Nope.